Hi guys, it's Giselle. Thank you for joining me today on Thrifty Thursday. And ooh wee, what a Thrifty Thursday I have for you today. Um, Last weekend was my birthday weekend and we jumped in the car and we drove an hour and a half to go to Moorhead City to the beach because it was uh, 75 degrees here in North Carolina. So, uh, we went to a flea market that's out there and we hit several, several thrift stores. And, um, the birthday gods were shining down on me because I found some wonderful goodies. I'm so excited. Um, first of all, I know you see this cover, but what you don't see it's the stack of golden books that I found this weekend. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. First of all, let me put these to the side. Um, I found this one. The Lord is my shepherd for 50 cents. It's in great shape. Found that. The little, the little golden book of hymns, which is really, 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 really adorable. Um, beautiful illustrations. Prayers for children, 50 cents, um, in great condition, just adorable, just, just too cute. What beautiful journals those are going to make. I found this one. I've never seen this one before. It was 50 cents. It's in great shape. Um, the 12 days of Christmas, a Christmas carol. Um, so excited about that. Um, I do have one of these before that I bought at an antique mall. Um, this one was missing the golden part of the book here. Um, but it's got beautiful, beautiful, um, and it is, it is, this is a vintage book. These, these are not that old. This is vintage, vintage. Um, doesn't have the little UPC label here. Um, but look, look how beautiful. Just absolutely gorgeous, and the pages are in great condition. They did write the person's name here. But 1964 is this book. Love, love, love. This is another old one as well. This one is vintage Christmas carols. Um, has not been written in. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful book. So that's fun. Um, this one's vintage as well. Uh, stories of Jesus. Um, it's going to make a great prayer journal. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh my God. Look at those faces. Oh my goodness. Prayers for children. Look how beautiful. It's got a little, um, I think that's tape there. I'm not sure. But, oh, it's just beautiful. Just a beautiful book. Just gorgeous. So that's lovely. Um, found this one. Bible stories of boys and girls. Um, it is vintage. It does have a little wear on the corners. But that does add to the beauty. Um has a little writing inside the book. I think that's in pencil. Can get most of that off. Gorgeous book. I did find one of these before. And the cover was really, really beat up. Um, but I love this book. Because they used... Um, uh, um, what's, the, what's the right word without offending anybody? But they used the men of... Um, color on the on the cover and inside the story and I just love this book um I just love this book so that's one I want to make um and this one was missing the cover it is a um vintage book um but what I can use it for is for the pages it's the ABC for for Christmas so they're all there so they'll be cute just to add within the pages of another journal. Um, so I got that. So that's that. Um, I didn't want to make this video too long, but I think it's going to be a long one. Um, I did find both of these at the flea market. Um, 
They were priced four dollars, but if you buy more than one book, she does take a dollar off. So they were three dollars. Um, it's a little more than I like to pay for books, but I love these books. Oh my god, I love these feel books. Um, this one's on flowers. The the images are just gorgeous. Um, and basically what I do is I cut a page out. Sometimes I stitch it and I back it with paper so you could journal on the back. Or just tuck it in a tuck spot in a journal just for eye candy. Um, but these are hard to find. Um, and I don't know how old this one is. Let's see. Uh, copyright 1950. So like I said, these are hard to find. So that's why I paid the price for that one. Um, and I also found this one. Um, bought, um butterflies and moths um wait till you see these pages look how gorgeous that is oh my god look just beautiful what a beautiful journaling card that would make look how gorgeous and it just keeps giving just keeps giving keeps giving oh my goodness oh my goodness so we love that um Here's some of the goodies that I found at a thrift store in Moorhead City. Um, found this bag of buttons. Absolutely love these buttons. They look like they're older than dirt. Um, <laughs> but look how gorgeous they are. Look. Look how beautiful these buttons are. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if this was part of a pack. I don't know how old they are. But there's so many of them. They're absolutely gorgeous beautiful beautiful buttons they're just gorgeous couldn't ask for anything more when it comes to that let's slide those off there um i did find these these two cute little dictionaries me and my dictionaries i know i know um but look how small it is it fits in the it fits in the palm of my hand with a little extra this is so adorable. It's French to English and English to French. Look at those tiny little pages. Look at my hand. And look at those tiny, tiny pages. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. That's so cute. So that's that one. Um, This one, I think it's um Turkish. Yes, it's a Turkish dictionary so it goes from turkey to english and english to turkey i got it mostly for the turkey part um look how gorgeous that is just love putting things in my journal that people can't read just love doing that i just oh it's just great just love this book it's just so oh, so exciting um I did find this. Isn't that the cutest? Oh my gosh. And it's vintage. A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving. Um, I don't know how old it is. Let's see. 1974. Oh, poor Charlie Brown. He's such a tortured soul. Look at him. Oh, I just love him. So I just love this book. Love, love, love. And in the same store, in a totally different part of the store. A matter of fact, is it was where the children's shoes was at. This was sitting on the shelf. It was waiting for me. So it's a pack of cards. Charlie Brown and Snoopy. You can't go wrong with that. It looks like it's brand new. Uh, $5.99. And I pay... Uh-oh. My, my um, sewing machine is... My, um, dryer is spinning and it's making my camera bounce um sorry about that but it was $5.99 I guess in the Hallmark store and I paid 50 cents for it so hooray love that um let me see if it stops spinning so I can let it go uh I think the hard spinning is gone okay um and this was the weekend to find VHS um covers oh my god i hit the jackpot i hit the jackpot i hit the jackpot first of all i found a walt disney christmas oh my gosh santa claus with mickey and minnie how adorable is this what a beautiful journal this is going to make 
Love, love, love. And I found another um, Santa Claus is going to town in great condition. Um, not too much damage, so that's a good one. Um, I did find this. This will aid you right here, Betty Boop. My mother loved Betty Boop. Um, but that's going to be an adorable journal. How cute is that? So I found that. And I think the rest of them are all Christmas. I found this Winnie the Pooh um, cover. And it's the season of giving. Um, and I found this Winnie the Pooh. And this Winnie the Pooh. These two are the same. So I got, I got three of them to work with. How exciting is that? Look how cute that is. If Winnie the Pooh is your thing, oh my goodness. So that was fun to find those. Um, I absolutely fell out when I saw this. I didn't even know it existed. But besides Snoopy, the Flintstones was one of my favorite cartoons when I was little. Look how cute that is. A Flintstones Christmas Carol. How cute is that? Oh my word, what a cute journal that's going to be. This one might be hard to part with because I've never seen one of these before. So that was fun. Um, and the one that I'm the most excited about, the one that is so hard to find, dun dun dun, a Charlie Brown Christmas. Do you know how hard it is to find these things? Um, for 50 cents? Uh, yeah. Love, 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 love this one. So, I got my hands on a Charlie Brown Christmas. Hooray! That's so exciting! So, that was fun. Um, I did buy this deck of cards for 50 cents. Um, I do like to fish. Um, I thought it might be fun to have around or even play with. So it's a complete deck. It comes in this cute little box. 50 cents. It's a lure. Why not? So I got that. Um, and I found several postcards um, where the books were. And I just wanted to show you um, what they look like. I'm getting something else. Um, and I picked these because they look old. These are just eye candy in a journal. They're nice to include when you do make a journal. But a lot of them had writing on the back and they had stamps on them. So these are the ones that I picked out. That's a stamp on the back. I think they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. They feel old. It's nice to read what people wrote. <laughs> what people write on the back of them. They're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. The real deal. I have so many of these. Greetings. Look at that flower. It has a raised texture to it. That one has a stamp as well. And this one. This one has a raised texture to it. I don't think the camera can pick that up. So these are the ones that I picked up. Um, and let me see. Are my glasses nearby? Yeah. Let me see if I can see a date on some of these. Um, can't see that one. This one's from 1912. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! 1912 is the date on that one. This one is 1911 from Kansas. Oh, my gosh. And this one is not legible. 19 something, but I can't see it. Mm, can't see this one either. Oh my word. This one is from 1909. Can you guys see that? It's right there. Wow. Somebody sent their sister a postcard. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that was a nice find. Wow. So exciting. Okay. Um, and I also found this book. 
which is so interesting because I said, I saw it and I said, oh, look at the little Reader's Digest because it has, see, this is a Reader's Digest and it looked like this, but it's, it's way smaller than a Reader's Digest. And I said, oh my God, that, that book is so adorable, but it's not, it's, um, what is this book? A collection of upwards 500 recipes, 500 Virginia recipes, Williamsburg Art of Cookery. So it's a cookbook. Yeah, it's a cookbook. How cute is that? And let's see, is it old? Wow, look at the graphics on that. Um... Yeah, of course, it would be Roman numerals. That's a stretch for Giselle. Uh, copyright, 1938. Wow. How exciting is that? But it's so cute. It's so little. Look how cute. Compared to a Reader's Digest, this one's going to be hard to part with. Yeah, and it was $2. I did pay $2 for that. So that was fun. Um, and we also went to um, the antique mall that I like to go to. And I found a couple of goodies. Um, I found a five blank vintage note cards, no envelope. I paid $2 for these. Haven't even opened them. Um, they're sealed. Oh, where's my scissors? Um, let's see. Let's see. They're gorgeous. You could tell they're old just the way they feel. Oh my gosh, they're from Hallmark. I had gotten two of these the last time I was at the um the antique mall, but they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. They even have patina around the edges. They're beautiful. Just gorgeous. So that was a nice find. Um I did find these little prayer cards. I want to include them in my prayer journals. Um, and it's um, it's a pass it on card. Um, and basically, uh, it just has a little message, relief stress. Uh, let me take it out the bag. Do they have it taped? They have it taped. Of course. Um, and how many are in here? A total of 20 cards. But it says, relieve stress, take a prayer break. Oh, look at the kitty. He's just about had enough. <laughs> yeah, so pass it on message card. So that is so nice. And I paid $2 for these 20 cards. So I thought they were adorable. I couldn't leave them behind, so I took them with me. So that was fun. Um... I did find this piece of fabric. Not sure if it's vintage or not, but I like it because um, I guess we're in Christmas time and I could save it for next year. It was a dollar fifty, um, and let's see, it has about a yard. Um, but I just loved it. I just thought it was just too cute to leave behind, so I picked that up. Let's get a closer look there. So that was cute. Um. And I did find two golden books there in great, great condition. Both of them are vintage. Um, I found this Noah's Ark in great condition. These, these are one of the vintage ones because it doesn't have the label in the back. Um, very, very cute. I did pay $2 um, for it. And I hate when they do that. They put it in, num in Roman numerals, so I couldn't tell you what it is. Um, I'd have to look it up, but I love that one. And I did find one of these at the flea market. The one at the flea market's a little bit more beat up. Um, 49 cents. This one was 69 cents, but this one is in great shape as well. Um, great images. Beautiful. Just gorgeous. So I found those two for $2. Um, I only buy them. For two dollars, if they're in great shape, if they're not in great shape, or got too many pages written in them, I won't pay two dollars for them. 
Um, and I found these bingo cards. Funny story about the bingo cards. Um, I knew they were pricey, but they're so hard to find. They are so hard to find. I have been junk journaling for close to two years now. Um, maybe a little over two years and they're very hard to find. And I go to the thrift store every week. They're hard to find. Um, so I said, you know what? Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pay $2 for a set of bingo cards. Uh, it's only four. Um, so I did pick these up and, um, they're nice. They have a nice weight to them. Let me open one up. Oh, you're going to die when I tell you what comes next. They have a nice weight to them. They are vintage. Um, and they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're almost like, um, a cardboard. They're beautiful bingo cards. So I paid $2 for four. You know, not bad. Um, and I was happy to have them. I walked out the store. I was like, hooray, I got me some bingo cards. Went down the street to another thrift store. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I found this. A box of bingo. Not only did it have... Not only did it have the bingo cards in it. It's the complete set. Not only that, it has 40 bingo cards for $4. I paid $4 for these and I got eight. This, <laughs> this has 40 bingo cards and they're all in great shape. They put tape all over this box. It made me so mad. Um, but it's a vintage, um, bingo. Uh, what was the date? I saw a date on here. Where did I see that date at? I thought I saw a date on it. Oh, was it on the box? 1981. Um, look at the images on the back. How cool is that? Yeah, back in the day when, you know, there was no electronics and kids actually colored and and play games. We played a lot of games when we were kids. Um, I have two sisters and a brother. And bingo was one of the fun ones. We used to play bingo a lot. Um, I digress. But it has all the little, you know, B2s, O65s in there. Um, it has cardboard. Um, what do you call it? The little things to put on the spots. And look at my bingo cards. <laughs> oh my goodness. I got 40 of them. Hooray! Look what fun. Look at the stack of bingo cards. Yeah, sometimes good things come to those who wait. Um, I was so happy to find these. I can't begin to tell you how happy I was. And I take these. Um, I found a, a few before. Um, it wasn't as many as 40 for, for $4. Um... But, you know, I sew, so I basically take them and I back them with coffee dyed paper or colored cardstock. Um, and I stitch around it. So not, not only do you have something um, vintage to look at, but you could also journal on the back of it. So I got 40 cards, people. Hooray, hooray, happy birthday, Giselle! That was that was like one of my best finds for the whole weekend. Oh my goodness. So we're so happy with our bingo. So that's fun. Um I did find this um roll of wallpaper border. Um look how fun. How fun is that? Oh my god. Can you see that in a nautical journal? Or an ocean theme journal. And you know what I do with them. I take them and I fold them. And I stitch them. And I make envelopes out of them. So we found something really, really fun. So I love that. Um, and the last thing I'm going to share. Um, is this. Uh, and it's heavy. It's very heavy. Um, I was in the thrift store. And they had 
one um for a dollar. You all know what that is, and it's not toilet paper. Um, it's receipt paper. And I saw Felicia from Bible Scraps. She made something out of this, which I'm going to share in, in another video. Um, but they had one roll for a dollar. I said, okay, well, that's all I need is one roll. But then they had this, these four rolls, there's four rolls in here. And the four rolls were two dollars. So, you know, we're all bargain hunters. Will I ever use all four rolls? Probably not. But why get one when you can get four? So I got all four rolls and they're so heavy. Oh my gosh. So that was a lot of fun. Um, and I did pick up some beads when I was at the flea market. But I'm going to share that in a separate video because the video is getting too long. Um, they take forever to upload. I have such drama with my Wi-Fi service. Oh, you know, it's nice to live out in the country. It's absolutely gorgeous. I live on a farm. It's beautiful. Um, but when you live out in the country, the service, internet service is, is horrible. I can't get cable. Cable won't come through here. Hoping, I was told with the infrastructure bill that um, they were going to run a fiber optic lines in the uh, out in the rural country where I'm at. Um, hopefully by next November. Um, but you wouldn't believe how long it takes for me to upload a video. Uh, and it could be a three minute a uh, five minute video. Um, it's almost embarrassing to say how long it takes for, for me to upload a video. I can upload a five minute video and it will take 12 hours. No lie. 12 hours. That's how slow it goes. And it's the only thing that I can have out here. Um, if I use my phone, if I use the data on my phone, it takes, it, it sucks up all my data. So when it's time to watch YouTube videos and catch up on everybody, it's too slow because I don't use up all the data. So I just made this video super long. But this one I'm going to upload at my son's house because I'm going on Thursday. So this one will go very fast. And when I say fast... He has cable. He has spectrum. So let's see how long this video is. This video is 27 minutes as I speak. Almost 28 uh, minutes. I uploaded a video when I was there a week and a half ago. I think it was 17 minutes long. It took one hour. Oh my gosh. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I want to move here. I want to move here. But anyway, I digress. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. It was an exciting weekend. I have something so exciting for Thrifty Finds on Thursday. And I hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.